കിഷോമിഷി ഹായ്ക്ക് സ്തുതി ആരിക്ക വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മാർത്തോമ എഫക്ട് ഐ ആം സോജിൻ ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് മീ ഹാനി ഹേ ആൻഡ് കട്ടിക്കാരൻ സോ വി വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂവിങ് ദ കോൺവെർസേഷൻസ് വിച്ച് വി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ആൻഡ് ആനി യു നോ യു വേർ വർക്കിംഗ് ഫുൾ ടൈം ആസ് എ ക്വാളിറ്റി അനലിസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ട്രാക്ക് and um, you you know resigned your job and uh, dedicating this year so that uh, making that decision you know like um, uh, resigning your job you know uh, was it uh, quite uh, easy and uh, what you family thought about it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> it really wasn't easy and you know as malayali is like it's it is a, a, a hard conversation to bring up with your family as well but I just, you know, like I said, I didn't really, you know, just make that decision out of nowhere. I just I I, you know, discerned it. I prayed about it and because I was I had the conviction conviction that he really wanted me to do it. Yeah. It didn't matter to me. I just, you know, I wanted to do whatever he wanted me to do. So, yeah. whatever his will was. So, you know, I talked to that I sat down with my parents and I said, you know, this is what he wants me to do right now for the next year. And they have been very blessed that they are standing behind me they have stood behind me this whole time and you know throughout they have been a really you know good pillar of support so but you know in terms of you know working full time and not working all of a sudden it is scary and it is a huge step but i'm not really fussed about it like i'm not really worried about it because i know i'm not doing it by myself so like i'm not you know i'm just leaving it up to him so i'm just making sure that you know if nothing that i grow that much more within this year for him and with him so yeah you know like um, hearing from ani you know this is very important you know like uh, discerning his will in our lives and then um, uh, living out a life according to his will that's very important and uh, ani oh, what's your you know mission plans for this year Well, you know, like in terms of mission is there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty and stuff as well because it's the first ever one in the Apaki, but it's also a really exciting time because it's that, you know, the chance for us to really get into the grassroots, you know, get there and go and work with the youth from all around Australia and, you know, others as well, like and just really like, you know, why Jesus? Why Sir Malabar and why like you know like that's the main two questions like why Christ and like you know I just love I fell in love with him and I want to be able to pass that on and that's why this is like even better because like I already wanted to do that and then this was just like okay well you know I can do it full time yeah. this is great so you know that going to each parish and mission and really getting into the grassroots you know more than like events and things like that it's like that personal relationship growing that individually but as a group and as a you know as our community Sierra Malabar community why that traditions and that the roots are so important so like that is that's it that that's just it yeah no you are actually you know um, uh, raising two questions you know why christ and why Sierra Malabar you know and um, i recall an instance you know like uh, when you have attended our very first youth leader summit in 2018 which happened in melbourne yeah. and you wrote something beautifully in um, you know in online yeah. platform in you know, yeah. especially on facebook <laughs> and um, and one thing i recall is uh, you shared now i know about myself and now i know about my roots and i am so proud to be a catholic a seromalabar catholic and uh, what made you to write in that way because that's also a very a daring statement in social media so yeah. why 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 you, uh, you know said it yeah i mean look that wireless like it made me realize a lot of things like it was a, it was a year and a bit after i found my way back to the main g and you know it was already i was at a good place i thought but coming to this i actually it's pretty embarrassing but i did not know that sierra malabar like you know like the traditions about i didn't know anything about it so i remember uh, our bishop bosco was talking about it and uh, a few of the youth they were like talking about this and it it really stood stuck with me and it was like 
we're we're Indian in um in, we're Indian in culture, um uh, Oriental in um liturgy worship, worship, worship sorry right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and oh there was there was um there, there's three things and I just Indian in, Indian in culture Oriental in worship and Oh, Catholic in in religion. That's like, and I was just, just like, well, I knew about the Catholic thing, and you was Indian, you know, all that kind of stuff. But like, well, what's this Oriental stuff, like, you know? And then it was just like, it blew my mind because I always just thought, like, funny thing is, I actually knew the Qurbana off by heart. Like, I'd go there, I knew when to stand up, I knew when to kneel down, all that kind. Of, I knew all the particle, like everything. But I didn't know the meaning behind it. I didn't really understand. I didn't care. But it was just. It was just great for me to realize that and really be like, whoa, this is what my grandma was talking about, like when I was little. And you know, she she was lo- in love with it. And I, like thinking back, and I was like, wow, that's great. And I have that, you know, I lost my grandma, so like I I have that link with her as well. And it's just it's really great. And I just thought, you know, this is who I'm who I'm called to be. Why not embrace it? And yeah, I just I just feel like a lot of youth these days don't know about it as well. Like it's not like it's not as readily available to them and, and things like that. And that's why we're called to, you know, give it to them as well. So, yeah, I think I, I just love even, you know, like I'm learning more a diploma of theology now. So I'm learning more into that side of, you know, especially the other day we talked about like, you know, Sira Malabar traditions in that theology class. And it was unreal. It was just so beautiful. When you think about like even in the Qurbana, the 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 words are just that much deeper and it's just that much pure like you know like and, and yeah i i just love it <laughs> yeah you know like that's uh, one of the biggest statements uh, placid j podivara achan uh, brought out we are indian in culture oriental in worship and catholic in religion but, you know, definitely these days, uh, Indian in culture, I would love to say probably we are indo Aussie in culture because, you know, like uh, we are dealing with young people who are born and brought up here right now. So, and, uh, you know, definitely you brought up here and uh, how the involvement with uh, Sirumalabar youth movement helped you to you know, form uh, you in a, in a in a such a marvelous and a wonderful way. So I think like it will be the same wireless that kind of got me into it. So um, it just you know I I always used to go to the Latin church before, and uh, you know I was um, I was always you know really I didn't have that much of a support group as a youth youth group or anything like that. That kind of understood not just like my faith beliefs, but also that you know, the cultural side. It's that, you know, we're kind of in, because we're in Australia, I, I you say Indo, Indo, Indian, Indo Australian, I say yeah. Australindian, oh, okay. you know? <laughs> <laughs> because I was born in India and, you know, like I probably spent my more than half of the lifetime in India. So I would love to put India for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it, for me, it's that, you know, you're in that two, it's almost like your legs are in two different boats. Yeah. And a lot of you, they find it hard to find that, you know, middle ground where they they belong. Yeah. So, you know, having this group there that's like support system that understands that these are your cultural values, but also these are the traditions and the, the like, you know, Jesusness, that, like, you know, yeah. in it. So it was really good in like a whole, it was very wholesome. It was a very wholesome thing to ha- find that and be part of it and... Yeah, it's it's been great, and I'm I'm looking forward to more and um, growing in it, even as not a youth, I guess later. So yeah. So thank you so much, Anne, and uh, we will be continuing continuing this conversation about the Jesus nest. Eh? So God bless. Until then, I'm Sojin, and I'm Annie K. This is Martoma Effect, Marwala. Series.